How's it going everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video we're going to be continuing our series on deep link expressions by talking about the link to row expression. Now if you aren't sure what deep links are in general, we have an intro video that I would encourage you to watch first. We're going to go ahead and link that in the description below. Let me say if you are looking for the link to row video, you've come to the right place. So first, what does link to row do? The link to row expression is going to link your user to a specific detail view or specific form view of a specific row. So you're going to use the ID of a row you're wanting to display to show either the detail view or the form view if you're wanting them to edit. So let's go over the parameters in the link to row expression. There are three parameters, the last of which is optional. And we know it's optional because if we go to link to row, we can see that app ID is in square brackets. And that's actually telling us that this parameter is not required. So the first parameter is the unique ID or the key of the row you're wanting to display. So for instance, if you're trying to display users, a lot of times this is going to be their email. If you're getting app sheet to auto generate unique IDs for your key, then you probably don't know what the key for the row you're looking for is. In that case, you're going to want to use a select expression or a lookup expression in place of a static text value like I have here. If you aren't sure how to use select expressions, we do have a video for that as well. Next, we've got the name of the view you're trying to link to. Again, this is going to be a detail or a form, but you just need the name of the view itself. If you're not sure where to find that, you can go to UX, find the view you are trying to link to, and the first input here is going to be the name of that view. See, it says view name, and then we've got some text here. So we would just copy that. Going back to our expression, we would paste that in here between quotation marks, and that gives us the information we're looking for. Finally, we have our optional parameter. This is optional because if you're trying to go to a view inside the app you're already in, you don't need to worry about this. But if you're trying to link them to a separate app and a specific row within that app, you're going to need the ID for the app you're going to. If you're unsure where to find that, you can see up here in our URL for the editor we're in currently. Um, we want everything after the equal sign, after app name, and before the ampersand. That should be the name of your app, probably without spaces, as well as a dash and a series of numbers that AppSheet is using to know which app is which. So we're going to copy that and paste that within quotation marks as well. But again, if you're trying to access an app, excuse me, access, access a view within the app you're already in, you don't have to worry about this parameter at all. And that's it for link to row. If you have any questions, please feel free to throw them in the comments below. And we hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Ooh. Actual, actual, actual.